Hello everyone, this is Yolanda and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, rib beanie. You had seen it on my vlog when I was showing different um, thing, things, uh, projects I had for um, my UFOs. So here is that beanie that you guys all liked with the ribbing stitch. This one I'm doing the one that starts from the top of the head here and down. And because um, of the ribbing effect, um, it comes out really tight, so you may want to use a one hook uh, size larger than what I'm recommending below on the description box. And um, I usually do 12 rows for my regular beanies, but these you're going to need at least 14 rows, maybe 15 rows. So that's really up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get this party started. Hello everyone, this is Yolanda and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, rib beanie. You had seen it on my vlog when I was showing different um, thing, things, uh, projects I had for um, my UFOs. So here is that beanie that you guys all liked with the ribbing stitch. This one I'm doing the one that starts from the top of the head here and down. And because um, of the ribbing effect, um, it comes out really tight, so you may want to use a one hook uh, size larger than what I'm recommending below on the description box. And um, I usually do 12 rows for my regular beanies, but these you're going to need at least 14 rows, maybe 15 rows. So that's really up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get this party started. Hi everyone, to begin the rib beanie that was on my vlog. Um, I'm going to be using a size J hook, but of course, if you're making it for a baby, you would use a, a smaller size, maybe you know anywhere from a size F to a H. Um, just look at my beanie instructions. I'll put them here underneath uh, in the video description portion will be the sizing uh, for the different hook sizes. So I'm using the impeccable, this color is called lemon. And this week um, at Michael's, uh, the impeccable is all a dollar ninety nine, which is the cheapest I've seen it um, the whole year. So I don't get anything from them for telling you. I just thought, hey, you might want to know. To begin this beanie, we're going to begin by four doing four chains. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger so I could do my slip loop here, and then I'm going to begin doing four chains. One moment. So I'm going to be four chains. One. For the chain, we wrap the hook around the yarn, two, three, and we're just pulling out four. Now that we have a four chains, we're going to put our hook into the first chain here and slip stitch, meaning we pull the yarn through both of them and it creates that little circle for us. Now we're going to do a double crochet. We cha we're going to chain two to go up one, two, and into here, the circle inside here, we want to have 12 um, double crochets. Excuse me, we do three chains, I'm sorry. One, two, three. This one counts as our first double crochet. So here, to do the double crochet, oops, to do the double crochet, I want you to wrap the hook around the yarn, pull it in through there. Now there's gonna be three loops of yarn on your hook. You're going to pull through two of them, there'll be two left, and then through two more. So that will be your double crochet. And this would be one, two, so you're going to do ten more. So go ahead and do that. Make ten double crochet for a total of twelve, including that first chain three. Okay, I finished my last double crochet. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning chain. So the ones that we began, remember we went up one, two, three. On that third chain is where I want you to put in your hook. And you're going to come out, pull the yarn, and pull it through your last loop. So your first row should look like this with 12 of these little double crochet posts. To go up, we're going to chain three, one two, three. This counts as our first double crochet. So here I'm going to wrap, right here I'm going to do another double crochet in that same space. 
gonna wrap my hook around my yarn, go into that same space that I just came up, and do a double crochet. Because I want you to do in every single one of these chains, you are going to do an increase, meaning there's going to be two double crochet in each chain, so that when you go all the way around, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. In my next chain here, I go in, I do one double crochet, and go back in there again, two double crochet. Okay? So we're doing two double crochets in each chain, all the way around. Here's another one. Double crochet. Okay. Continue that all the way around. Two double crochets in each chain for a total of 24 double crochets. Okay, here on my second row, I've done the last double crochet there, the last increase. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to go one, two, three. And on that third chain here, I'm going to put my hook in there and slip stitch. So it should look like this. For row three, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on row two. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and into that same space there, we're going to do our first double crochet. And now we're going to do a, two double crochets in each chain all the way around so that when you go to the end, you should have 48 double crochet posts. So you're going to have 48 of these little posts. So in each chain here, you go in there, pull through two, then through two, wrap around, go in, three loops on the hook, two and two. You're going to have two double crochets in each chain. So go ahead and do that. When you complete it, you'll have 48 double crochets. Okay, I finished my last double crochet. So to go up to the next row, once again, I count my chains. One, two, three. And in that third chain, I'm going to slip stitch. I want you to make sure, if you're to be on the safe side, I want you to count every post, including this, to make sure there's 48 on this level. If you have more, that means you put too many somewhere along. The first one, including the, the first um, one here, including the three chains you went up, will have 12. The second one will have 24, and then this one 48. Some of you have written that your um, your work is not laying flat, that it was rippling, and I just realized what you mean. This looks flat, but it actually, if you can see it, it does kind of wave a little bit. It's not flat. But if it's a huge ripple, then you may have too many um, stitches in there, so make sure you have only 48 double crochets at this point. If you have more, um, go back and check where you did it because we need to have 48. So here we're going to begin doing um, one of the st uh, styles of the beanies which had ribbing on the whole beanie. So here, if you uh, if you wanted to have ribbing lower, then you would just start doing this ribbing, probably like in row uh, nine. Okay. So here to go up, we're going to go one, two, three chains. Now. This one on the next double crochet, which is our next post here, we are going to begin working in the front and back post alternating, meaning that some of them we will have um, uh, work in the front post, and then some of them we will only work in the back post, okay? Let me try to adjust this here so you can see. So here, I'm going to no longer be working in my chains. I'm going to be working actually in these posts. The first, um, post here that I'm going to do a double crochet. I wrap my yarn around my hook and then I'm going to bring in my yarn, grab that front post here, go under the post there, grab, pull out my yarn, there'll be three loops, pull through two and then my next two. So now I grabbed, the yarn is grabbing that front post. We're going to alternate. Now my next post I have to grab the back post meaning that I have to bring my work in from behind. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around. I'm going to bring my hook in from behind that post. See, there's that post there. I'm going to grab it, bring my hook around. See, I'm going to pull out the yarn to the side there. There'll be three loops, pull through two, then through two. So now my yarn is grabbed, 
coming here from the front post and then here it's grabbing it through the back see so one's in front one stitch is in the back and that's what we're going to do all the way around if you have never done this stitch you might take a little bit of practice but you'll be able to get it one more time you're going to go here let me see if I could adjust this so I can grab, get closer to you so here I'm going to wrap my yarn around I'm going to grab that next front post here pull my yarn through there there'll be three loops of thread yarn on my hook pull through two and then the next two and I've just grabbed that front post and see how it's making that ribbing effect now for the back I'm going to wrap it around and if it's easier for you, you can lift it up a little bit. I don't do that. But if you need to see where you're going, you could see, oh, here's my post. There's your next post. You're going to grab there. Bring it out. There's going to be three loops of yarn. Pull through two, then through your next two. And that is going to be making your ribbing effect. The next one, you go in the front, grab the front, and do your next double crochet. The next one, you grab from the back, bring your hook from the back, wrap it around your post there. So you're grabbing, you're getting that post there. Grab your yarn and pull it out. You're going to do that all the way around. One, grabbing one from the front and one from the back. And that's creating, it's creating that ribbing effect. See? You're not going in the chain, you're actually grabbing your post here with your yarn. So do that all the way around. I grab my front, do my crochet, double crochet. Now I wrap my hook and then I come. This is the next the next post here. So I grab from the back, wrap my hook around there. So see, it's grabbing the back. I pull out my yarn two and two and like I said it may feel awkward at first but hopefully with some practice you'll be able to do this and then this stitch you could also use on the cuffs of um, sweaters to give it that little ribbing effect so do that all the way around okay here I've come to my last um, double crochet in the front post so here in my beginning three chains, one, two, three, is where I will slip stitch and pull my hook through. So now, I hope you could get an idea of how it's looking, the ribbing. See? That's just your first row. So what you're going to do is, you're going to continue doing the same thing until you have a total of, from beginning, excuse me, to end 12 rows. To go up, to our next row, so I can show you how we do it the same. We just chain three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to wrap my yarn. And remember, you're going to keep working on top of the same one. So if you're the, if you're the post you're working on was a front crochet, double post, then you do the front, and then this one we're going to continue in the back, okay? Because we want to continue that same pattern, that same ribbing. So here we wrap our hook yarn around our hook. We're going to grab, you'll be able to see it now because it's standing up. It'll be easier the second round because they're standing up. Then you're going to go in there, wrap your yarn, pull through two, and then two. So now, see, you can see that ribbing there taking effect. This one is the back. So now you can see here, put your hook through the back, pull out your yarn. Oops. It's harder when I try to go too slow. Pull out the yarn. There should be three loops there. Pull through two, then your next two. And now you continue that same thing till we have a total of 12 rows. And that is pretty much it, folks. I know it looks really complicated, but, and by the time you get to your last row, you'll be such a pro at working the back and front post because you'll have a lot of practice then. So it doesn't, you know, just, be patient with yourself and it might take you a few chance a few tries but you'll be able to get it so see how that is getting your ribbing and then when you do all your rows then you it'll open up and close like the other ones I showed the beanies so this is a size J I'm gonna put the instructions on the bottom I want you to continue 
till you have 12 rows total. One, two, three. This is our fourth and this is our fifth row. So make sure you, you get your five, your uh, 12 rows, okay? So this is how it ribs in the back and it ribs in the front. So. Okay, I finished all my rows and I'm sorry I made a mistake. I actually did 14 rows here, not 12. Um, you have to remember that when you do this rib stitching, it makes it really tight. So I'm going to give you instructions on the sizing for the beanie, which is my regular beanie. Um, but you might want to go up one hook size uh, to compensate for that. But see, now you have your ribbing. See how it stretches and it forms back and it gives you that neat ribbing effect. And then you would just tie in your tails. This is the back part. And you're all done. I hope you like that. Please hit subscribe and the like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And please feel free to share it with your friends and um, spread the word so that uh, people can subscribe. Thank you so much.